My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. All right, we got eight more pairs in of these. Okay, got them. I copped a bunch of flints from that restock and I sold a bunch more pre-orders on eBay. So I'm really happy about that. However, low key, it doesn't make that much sense to me being that this is a really big GR. Getting a lot of pairs is not really a flex and still the prices are looking good. All right, on one side, we have Yeezy 700s. On the other side, we have more Royal Toes. I feel like every episode I'm unboxing Royal Toes, they just keep coming in. And that's really awesome because the resale price are amazing on those and those are sneakers that I'm personally in love with. So let's get to opening these two piles of boxes. We got five Yeezy 700s that came in and five Royal Toes. Just for anybody who's curious about the sizes that I got for Royal Toes, basically they were all GS sizes, except for maybe three or four, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, I think that is the rest of the Royal Toes. I'm not gonna get any more in unless some of them just appear at my house which I doubt it will happen. So out of all of those checkouts, here is a total amount of Royal Toes that ended up arriving at my doorstep. We got two boxes to open. Here we have my last Yeezy 700. This one is from Undefeated, my very, very first order that didn't get canceled. Happy about that. And the second box is not a shoe. It's this thing. I'm a little bit upset about the way they packaged it because this is a great way for YouTubers to get doxxed. I'm just gonna take a picture of this and put it on the screen. By the way, as I got 100K subscribers two months ago, I'm assuming there were a lot of delays because of what's been going on and I got it now. I mean, better late than never, right? Oh my gosh, bruh. This is sick. Pictures and videos of this thing don't do it justice. It actually looks beautiful in person. Seems pretty light though. Let's play frisbee with it. Imagine. Share the recognition by allowing your team to purchase a personalized creator award. Oh, you can buy more of these. What if I just buy like 30 of these? Oh, that's a mirror, dude. So when you look at it, it's like, yo, bro, it's you. You're the one who got the 100K subs. Peep that. It's a mirror. Sick. Bunch of the Jordan 13 flints that I ordered came in. Last episode, I sold 16 flints and I made over a thousand dollars all in a matter of a few hours, which is probably the easiest money I've ever made from selling sneakers. Obviously, I still have to pack them up and then send them off to the post office, but it really isn't all that much work for over a thousand dollars. And I still have more to sell, and I'm probably gonna drop some of it off at consignment stores, by the way, I've been seeing this picture of people talking about me losing shoes at Flight Club, being that Flight Club did get looted, and a lot of people have been getting emails saying that their items were affected. I actually don't sell too much at Flight Club anymore. I only have two shoes over there, and those shoes are a kind of bricks, so even if those did get looted, I don't care. But for the people who did get their items looted at Flight Club, for anybody wondering what ends up happening, uh, Flight Club sent them an email saying that Flight Club will see what they can do with their insurance policy. But other than that, they didn't get any updates at this time. If you got any of your shoes looted at Flight Club or any other consignment store, I'm genuinely curious. So let me know what happened to you and your situation in the comments below. Whether or not you get reimbursed or whether or not you just lose your items. I feel really sorry for anybody who did lose their items. As far as I know, the items that I have in consignment is actually in the Stadium Goods Warehouse, which 
I don't know where it is, but I would assume it's in the middle of nowhere. So I'm probably still gonna be shipping shoes off to them. Anyway, speaking of flints, these things are restocking like every single day, like thousands and thousands of pairs every single day. And I've been passing on these restocks like crazy, but there was one day where I decided to go for restocks and I got a bunch of them. I'm not going to be showing the live cop because uh, I think just copying these are kind of boring. Out of all of those orders, two shipped out already size 11 and a half, which is actually a size that I didn't get before. Anyways, we did get a Travis Scott something in the mail. So let's go open that up. Here we have Travis Scott pants. I copped it when they shock dropped it on their website. This is a size small. I do believe I can make some money off of this. Initially, I low-key wanted it as a personal. So I haven't made up my mind yet whether or not I want to keep this for myself or if I want to sell it. But I don't really need it per se. In my opinion, these pants are super cool. I'm not gonna open it up right now just cause it's annoying to put it back in the plastic bag. But yeah, I haven't made up my mind yet what I wanna do with these. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack my orders now. I just finished packing all the pre-orders there over there and we do have three more shoes left over. What I have to do now is update my eBay listings to specify that I do now have it in hand and I could ship it out almost right away. So I'm gonna do that. In about 20 minutes, Concepts is going to be dropping the SB Dunk Laser Oranges. Um, the stock on this is going to be pretty low, but I am pretty confident that we can cop from Concepts just because usually that's my go-to website for being able to cop shoes. It's one of the more easier Shopify websites in my opinion. Alright, let's see what ends up happening. what the stock was? What? 12. Okay, we were not able to get any shoes, but that's totally fine. The stock was way too low. That was like one of those impossible, like proper impossible drops. With only 12, that dropped on concepts. However, we were able to scoop up a cause collectible figure. In fact, I already sold it. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good price. However, it is a very, very easy $70 profit. So I'm not gonna complain about that. But otherwise, not too much has happened for the past few weeks. But for the next few weeks, there are going to be some important drops. So we're gonna end up seeing what we're copying on the next episode.